now before the rapture. You know, it could be any second. All the signs are here. The witnesses are witnessing their testimony against a lost and evil world and causing plagues, fires that comes out of their mouth, um, droughts, and tormenting the earth. And we are in the way, and we are holding it back. And the bride, the true bride, filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, will speak the rapture into faith, into being, through faith, uh, by sp speaking in other tongues, which is God's perfect will, and Him praying in you and through you, His perfect will. That's how the bride says, come. The bride and the spirit say, come. The bride, the true bride, by the way of the spirit, says, come to the king. And that is speaking in tongues. This is the most hated um, truth in the Bible. And it's hated by the devil because he knows it has the power to seal you. Um, in case you didn't know, any day you can look up the, um, the phases of the moon. And right now it's supposed to be less than a half. And I just want you to look at this because our moon and our sun have already bowed out. Um, this is the same light that we see day and night, okay? Um, it talks about our moon never waning and that our light in New Jerusalem will not come from the sun or the moon, that we don't have need for them because the Lord will be our light. But then in Isaiah, let's see... It says, um, let's go to Isaiah 60, 19. No longer will you have the sun for light by day, nor brightness will the moon give you light. But you will have the Lord for an everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Your sun will no longer set, 